That's so cute because daughters, they always, for them, they very early in age, they mm. know what is pretty, oh, what yeah. they like. No, they have a very yeah, good opinion. They have very about strong it. opinions. They both have very strong opinions, my daughters. Because they were on set, I heard the they director were. said that they were mm -hmm. on set when you had the maneuver over you. Mm -hmm. So, what did they say about it? Fascinated. Yeah. You know, they're fascinated. They find uh, the whole, well, particularly, no, both of them are, are fascinated by the um, fantasy of it and the illusion of it. And, you know, they love all the, and my daughter particularly loved my office in the movie with all of the weird animals and stuff. Wasn't she scared? No, she's funny because she, I think because she's grown up knowing that it's pretend. So she um, she's able to watch things that would normally scare other kids and, mm -hmm. and she already has a quite a, a, a sophisticated eye and sophisticated view. Good education if she's sophisticated. <laughs> <laughs> But we'll see, strong willed. <laughs> strong willed. Yeah, she has always that a good from? thing. <laughs> <laughs> I know. But you know, and do you also take the older kids on set, or is it more interesting for the younger ones? Um, I mean, my older, my my daughter actually visited not this film, but the film I made in London before. And but it, you know, they've been on sets their whole lives, so I don't think it's. As, they certainly no. They're not asking to come and see movies. Even my younger ones are not like really thrilled to come out all the time. They only wanted to come to Paddington because of it was obviously course. a children's movie. Sure. But with the movies I usually make, they couldn't care less. They couldn't care less. No. And also yesterday we saw so nicely at the premiere you were there with Keith and he was holding the umbrella. And I thought it's such a nice metaphor, you know, he's holding the umbrella yeah. no matter what happens. Isn't that beautiful, romantic? Yeah, that's, that is romantic. I'll tell him he said that. He's very, well, he's very protective. I, he, as a as a man, as a husband of all of us, of you know his daughters, his wife, he's very protective, mm -hmm. and he likes a, that. He, yeah, I, I like that. that. Yeah, of course. Who yeah. doesn't want that? You yeah. know, you need your, and because that's also the message of Paddington. You know, mm -hmm. that family is the most mm. important. Uh, yeah, and we take, and I also think it's about taking care of each other, and that we're kind to people, kind to people that aren't necessarily like us, don't look like us, don't believe the same things we believe, we still show kindness, mm -hmm. which is an important thing to put out in the world. Absolutely. I show you something because I talked to David about it. There is the German actor, Elias, because he speaks the German Paddington. Do you know him, Elias oh. Mbarek? I don't know him. Very good looking. Yeah, he's yeah. a heartthrob in Germany, he? and yeah. David said he loves him. Oh. And he was yesterday at the premiere. You didn't meet him for any. <laughs> Doesn't matter. There were so many I people was, there. Yeah, I was shaking many people's hands, talking, signing, doing the selfies, <laughs> but I didn't meet him, no. Talking about selfies, it's mm -hmm. more and more now on red mm -hmm. carpets that you do selfies. Is yeah. that annoying for you sometimes? Are you a fan of selfies? I'm a, I mean, Keith and I, we do that. I mean, I've done that since I remember being at the Cannes Film Festival, and that this is like 20 years ago and going down into the audience before people normally did that and shaking hands. And I think because I was a child that stood on the sidelines watching, you know, I mean, I hate to say who the, like David Bowie from a distance, desperately wanting to meet him, you know, so I understand the desire. I'm not a fan of people that want you to sign photos and then they're gonna sell them to fans. I don't mm -hmm. think that's polite. All right, but I'm a huge fan of people who really genuinely want to be there and want to show their support to you and want to show and are excited about a movie supporting them. Mm. Because if you're standing out there in the rain, then I mean that's really touching to me. Absolutely. Yeah, and as long as it's pure and genuine. Mm -hmm. And then what why wouldn't you respond to that? Yeah. So selfie, autograph, whatever that is. That's that's really beautiful to me. And it's touching. It is. Very last, I do have one last question. Mm. Because award season is coming up and you go to a lot of premieres. By the way, mostly you look really beautiful. The dress yesterday was very nice also. Some, You're funny. Why? Mostly. Yeah. 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 No, it no, I know. Sometimes. Hit and miss. Hit and miss. But I, 
You're but like, I like my dress last night yeah, too. Was but I felt beautiful. comfortable in it. And there's definitely yes. times when you wear something you go, go, oh my gosh, I don't feel comfortable in this. Why did I choose this? Yeah. I only wanted to know when you go to it because very often with mm. the long gowns, mm. some actresses, they lay in the car so they don't How do you have... know that? But that is that is what we do, yes. You do that yeah, also? Yes, did you know that? Sometimes you will, because you don't want to crush here. Yeah. But now that I'm more experienced, I don't choose those dresses. Because I've had, I've literally had worn dresses that were absolute works of art, that were beautiful. And I love, I mean, artistically, fashion is can be extraordinary, you know. But it's also got to be wearable when you're actually going out to an awards night and then you've got to go to the dinner or the party. And also it's about having some fun. You want to be able to dance in your dress. Or you at least want to be able to eat in it. But so you were laying right? in the car. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's so, so no, funny. I have done that before where you lie out like this while you're driving. It's, it's horrendous. I do not do that anymore. Very smart. I choose a dress that I can sit in, that I can move in, that I can eat in, that I can kiss in. I, I choose, I, I really make, I make those choices now based on comfort.